we'll move uh, right along uh, with Pei, and I apologize for butchering your name. Uh, and so he's talked to us about uh, device for particulate matter characterization. So, Great, thank you. Uh, take it away. Great. Uh, yeah. Hi. So my name is uh, Abai Vidwans. I'm a second year PhD student at Washington University in St. Louis, and I'm here today to talk about the uh, current work in our group. We're trying to uh, make a device that can take in situ measurements of dust characteristics on the moon. And this is on behalf of our collaborators, Drs. Biswas, Gillis Davis, Watkins, Ogliore, and Jolliffe. Next slide, please. So we all understand that uh, dust is a major issue for future manned and unmanned missions on the moon and key to mitigating these problems are a fundamental understanding of the mobilization mechanisms of the dust and the characteristics of the dust that become lofted by these mechanisms. And uh, previous measurements done both at uh, high and uh, low altitudes have provided a lot of valuable information um, about these characteristics and mechanisms. But despite these measurements, there are still many uh, unknowns that are kind of limiting the development of mitigation technology. So, um, our goal here is to provide a uh, sensor that has low mass and low cost and can be disseminated in large numbers to capture the spatio-temporal variation of these dust characteristics and help eluc elucidate these uh, mechanisms behind dust mobilization in this plasma environment. Uh, next slide, please. So pictured here is the sensor that's kind of uh, central to the design of our instrument. And this is also should be noticed as the uh, actual size of the sensor. Um, basically, the way this works is there's a hole in the center of the sensor where dust particles will uh, travel through through various mechanisms. And when they pass through, they'll be illuminated by an infrared light. They will scatter light, and this light will be detected by a photodiode, which will convert the optical signal into an electrical signal. And this signal basically serves as our data point, which carries a lot of very useful information about the dust particle, including its size and composition um, and other aspects. Uh, next slide, please. So of our measurement objectives, there are a few here. Um, the first one is cloud density. So this is in units, the number of dust particles or grains per uh, unit volume. And this is simply proportional to the uh, concentration. Um, so basically we'll look at our total light. Abhay, uh, scattered you light. have one minute remaining. Okay, thank you. So the total signal is basically proportional to the concentration. Um, also by putting these two sensors in tandem and making sure they're outputting the exact same signal, so like a redundant sensor, um, we can, get a time of flight uh, estimate and use that along with the known distance between the sensors to calculate a velocity. Also, we can extract a size distribution potentially from this reading um, using a complex inversion algorithm based on me light scattering theory, as well as some calibration experiments to be done in a laboratory setting. And finally, we can even extract charge uh, by adding a uh, additional component on top of the sensor assembly that will first classify dust grains by charge or charge to mass ratio prior to entering the sensor, where they will then be characterized by size. So that's a summary of this instrument. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to present and happy to take any questions afterwards. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you so much, uh, Abhay. Uh, and yeah, if folks have questions uh, and the, you know, put them in the chat box and I encourage our lightning box speakers to sort of answer uh, there.